In this video we're going to have a look at how we can use the style reference field to apply a customized header to our chapter section within our thesis. In the previous video we explored how we can unlink our header sections to make sure that we don't propagate unwanted headers throughout our document. So all I'm going to do is just make sure that uh, this is set up correctly. So to begin with, just double click on an area at the top of your document and that will launch the header and footer tools design tab. So just to check that I have still unlinked my headers, I'm just going to click on the next button here. And you can see that linked previous isn't illuminated. And I'm just going to go on to section three, which is our document proper, if you like, the thesis area with our chapters. That too is unlinked from the previous section, so that's isolated. So what we want to do here is now go to Quick Parts and select Field. And within this dialog box, we're going to scroll down and find Style Ref, so obviously short for Style Reference. Style Reference is, is a field which will enable you to do certain things based on a heading style, for example, that you've utilised in a document or any other style. In our case, what we're interested in is Heading Level 1 style, because that represents our chapter headings. So I'm going to pull in the style reference for heading level one. And in the first instance, I'm going to ask Word to insert the associated paragraph number. So in our case, the paragraph number is actually the outline number that we applied using our multi-level list tool a lot earlier on in this video tutorial. And that is chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and so on. If I say OK, you'll see that that applies uh, Chapter 1. If I scroll down, you'll see that where we hit Chapter 2, it updates. So it's doing a, a nearest neighbour lookup, if you like. So in order to pull in the actual chapter title, what I'm going to do is just um, press spacebar. I'm going to type a hyphen, press spacebar again, and more or less repeat the same process over again. So quick parts, go to field navigate to style reference and this time I'm just going to select heading one without choosing a field option. So without a field option what Word does is it looks at any free text that we've entered, in this case the chapter title, and it will pull that in for us instead. So there you go. If I just scroll down you'll see that that updates every time it rolls over to a new uh, heading level one. So that's all of our chapter titles taken care of. What I'd now like to do is uh, just go back to um, look at footers. So we need page numbers on our thesis as well. So within section one, um, I'm just going to click on next. So that will take us to uh, section two, which is our content section. And the sort of generally accepted uh, norm for the content section is to have lowercase Roman numerals representing the page numbers. I don't want it linked to the previous section. I don't want numbers, therefore, to appear on my title page. So I'm just going to click on that to unlink. Uh, then I'm going to click on uh, the header and footer area page number, go to bottom of page, and I would like the page number to appear in the middle. What you often find happens here is that it will apply an extra paragraph remark which you can simply just delete out. It might help if you have your show hide tool switched on as I have here. Um, what we need to do is update the page numbering. It's aware that um, if I just scroll up a little bit for you, you'll see that we're on the table of contents page, which is the first page within our content section. So that is page two of the document in essence, but for our purposes, we want that to read lowercase Roman numeral one. So to affect that, what I'm going to do is just click on that number, and that's right clicking and format page numbers uh, from the context sensitive menu that appears. And there what I can do is I can restructure the page number in. I'm just going to say start at number one and the number format I want to choose is this one. Say OK and that will update for us. So if I just scroll through, list of figures should be two, list of tables three and so on. I'm not going to unlink uh, section three 
from section 2 when it comes to my footers because I want the numbers to continue but I just want to adjust the way that they appear because if we scroll down to have a look at chapter 1 the first page you can see it says page 4 when in fact we would want this now to begin numbering again from 1. Because it's hit a new section it's actually switched back to standard Arabic numbering which is fine but we just need to update the numbering itself so if we go to page numbering again start at number one say OK and that is all you need to do here so we've got our lowercase room and numerals for our content section and then the rest of the document is numbered uh, in standard Arabic numbering once you're finished just close out of your header and footer tool and that's your document all ready to go in terms of your headers and footers. The beauty of using your style reference, um, just to reiterate, is that um, in a large complicated document it means that you don't have to worry if you change the title or you rearrange your chapters and also if you have an awful lot of section breaks in your document it makes um, the administration a lot easier because you're not reliant on linking and unlinking numerous sections. Uh, you simply base it on the style of the heading that you've utilised, in this case heading level 1.